What's up everyone, today I'm reviewing the Nike Zoom Kobe 2 ST Orcas. So I picked this up uh, off locally off a dude, he was another uh, Kobe collector, he told me his wife was trying to get rid of, uh, was telling him to get rid of all the shoes. So uh, lucky me, I happened to bump into him, I uh, saw him on eBay, I uh, hit him up, and apparently he had a ton of other shoes uh, for sale, some 4s, some Dream Season 10s, even some Kobe trainers. So uh, this is the Zoom Kobe 2 ST. I believe the ST stands for strength. This was one of Kobe's first postseason shoes, and of course later on we did see the Elite series uh, that came started out with the seven. Uh, official colorway is black, black, white, and grape ice. And uh, without further ado, let's just get right into the shoe. So I picked these up uh, off of a dude locally. It was another Kobe collector. I uh, met up with him and he had a trunk full of Kobe's and the Dream Season 10's I think it was called I don't know what it was called, Dream Season something uh, the, He had the ST Team USA version uh, it was, Those were dead stock but uh, I didn't want to pick those up Because he wanted about $200 for those But uh, uh, He also had a couple pairs of Kobe 4's I did pick up his Kobe 3's review is on the way But uh, this review is all about the Kobe 2's Here's a quick look really nice condition I would say at least 7.5 out of 10 my personal opinion there is uh, some creasing around the top right here I mean you can't really avoid that that is full green leather all across across the straps as well a quick look at the top right here this is 24 right there and uh, has that target symbol similar to the Kobe ones Shizoku logo again is on the tongue it's got this Hirachi style booty fit on the inside. It fits really nice with the straps all laced up and uh, it feels really comfortable. Along the bottom here, traction, there's no drag marks. Traction still intact. Of course, you got your standard heel and four foot zoom bag. Uh, this was really similar to a Nike Free. It's really flexible. Um, I believe that was inspired by it. You got all these flex screws all across the traction pods as well. Here is another Kobe logo. Along the top here, you see this a silver piece. It has a um, Kobe Bryant signature. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Kinda, not really. But uh, you also got these silver lace tips as usual. Of course, you got your uh, pan leather upper on the toe box, similar to another shoe that we all know and love. Here's a quick look at the other one. Of course, you got your two and the four and the other one. I believe this is just plastic. I don't think it's carbon fiber. Yet. I think it's just plastic. Yet. TPU along the bottom for support. I, I just I think uh, this is a really nice pickup for me. I only bought it for uh, ninety dollars, um, and I finally have uh, one through eight in the Kobe series. Uh, I think the Kobe series is just one of the, the one of the most comfortable series throughout. It's most consistent. Um, I can actually say I have one through eight and tried on each of them. I think the most uncomfortable shoe for me um, would be the sevens. Um, I, it's most bearable with my Kobe Seven Elites just because it's full length zoom. Um, but other than that, every single other shoe, it is actually comfortable. I haven't tried on a nine yet, but it's exactly the same cushioning as the eight, so I assume it will have the same comfort. I'm gonna take my time with the nine. Um, the line is just way too expensive right now. Uh, in my area, um, it will be two twenty-seven, including tax, uh, Canadian dollars, of course. Um, I don't know. I think that's just too expensive. That's like just a tad under Jordan pricing, because uh, I think Jordan pricing is now like what two oh nine plus tax. That would be that would be close to two thirty-seven. Yeah, I don't know about that. But yeah, picked up the Kobe 2's, another comfortable shoe, uh, or another wearable shoe, definitely. I, I don't really want to buy anything that's not wearable. Cleaned this up all, a little bit already, I just left the sole alone. Um, I'll start to clean this part right here. Uh, let me just throw these guys on feet and uh, see what you guys think. So here they are on feet. This is my second time trying these on. and. 
I've got to say this um, four foot zoom bag is it's so responsive and so comfortable. It is a full length across of the width right there. So comfortable. Definitely one of the top Kobe shoes in terms of comfort. Uh, I still got a little space up here, but uh, I'll be fine. I'm just going to wear these casually. I don't want to, I don't know. It's an old shoe. I don't want to use a basketball performance and then tear it or something like that. Uh, I'll be right back in a sec. I already reviewed these, but uh, it's another similar colorway. Kobe won blackouts. Similar purple. But uh, yeah, one of the most comfortable shoes. Definitely. Let me know what you guys think. Really flexible shoe. Really comfortable. Got that black patent leather. Can't go wrong, right? Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. And remember to subscribe for more videos. Kobe 3 video is on the way. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.